Hello, it's Garnet here, and uh, uh, we're in the chilly season uh, here up at my home in the mountain rainforest, so uh, I've got a hoodie on. <clears throat> I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about this hyperplastic state. Hyperplastic. Uh, the talk is a little bit technical, but not really when you kind of get through the idea. So, <clears throat> the idea is that when you experience a neuroplastic stimulation, for example, a session with the Neurolite, or frankly any specific attention-oriented movement, mental process, or sensory stimulation, that following an analogy I use a lot, I say it's like eating a meal. You've heard this before that you eat the meal, you enjoy the meal, uh, satisfied by it. However, as much as the experience of eating the meal itself can be attractive and powerful and enjoyable or a big long list of adjectives, the real process begins when you finish the meal and digestion begins. So that as a kind of a concept, understand that after a Neurolite session, regardless of the experience you have during the session, which is important, which is attended by attention, attention, <clears throat> you enter into a period of hyperplastic condition, a hyperplasticity in terms of the, the brain. And that hyperplastic state is roughly for about two hours after the experience. Naturally, it'll float during that period a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on circumstance. And then, as you may have heard in other presentations, uh, it resurfaces again at about eight hours, then 24 hours, and 48 hours. This is the process of integration, and you can take advantage of that. Now, what I wanted to do today in this short video is give you another way of looking at hyperplasticity and this is where it's a little bit technical because I'm going to talk about complex adaptive systems. The brain is a complex adaptive system. An adaptive system that has this complexity means that there are so many parts and pieces to the system nobody really knows perhaps how many parts there are and even more important than the number of elements in this complex system is the fact that they're all interrelated, they're all interdependent. And what this does is it yields the, the potential of what's called an emergent property. And that emergent property is self-regulation, self-organization. The system that knows how to take care of itself all by itself. And it'll use outside influences but will regulate those influences internally. Okay. In a complex adaptive system, there are times when the system goes into what's called an SOC. That's an acronym. We live in the age of acronyms. FBI, CIA, you know what I mean? Acronyms. The SOC is a state of criticality. Criticality, like critical critical. It's a critical state. And critical sounds bad, like, oh, critical condition, like in the hospital, but it's not negative. It means a super sensitive state. And the analogy I'd like to offer you, I think is easily understood, that when you have water that is right at 30 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, right at that point, the water can crystallize into ice or stay fluid as a liquid. So in this amazing compound of H2O, the water, which has apparently four states at least, one of them being the structured or the easy water, that you have an example here of, you could say, hyperplasticity or a state of criticality, the critical state, the SOC state of. And right at that point, it can shift back and forth. It's in this, 
this incredible spot, this incredible threshold of going this way or going that way. So that critical state, imagining water right at the point of becoming ice or ice right at the point of shifting into water, meaning that when it's water it can go into many uh, like no shape shapes but then will take a form when it becomes crystallized as ice. So think of hyperplasticity like that that zone right where water is possibly fluid as a liquid or solid as crystallized ice. That's the concept of hyperplasticity. Uh, it's a beautiful highly creative, very sensitive, impressionable state. So when you use the Neurolite, understand that the light sound experience in and of itself, the subjectivity of it is extremely important because that is that, that state of germination. That's when it's happening as a stimulation. I'm not quite sure if germination is the right word for it. It's like a fertilization almost. And what follows that is a certain degree of hyperplasticity, a critical state where change can happen, where you can have change that will then stay or endure, or you can untie knots, if you know what I mean. So that's hyperplasticity and a little bit of what I wanted to share today. Think of complex adaptive systems, the brain. Understand the brain is the body, the body is the brain and that you have that opportunity in the hyperplastic state especially concentrated for about one to two hours after the session and then also at recurring periods of you know decreased probability but still sensitivity at 8, 24 and 48 hours so um, there's an opportunity there think about it, thanks